man. He's in the man on Genesis 1.26. Well, that man was given law, statutes, and judgments. What you mean he don't know what fire was? What you mean he just scratching and howling at the moon? Came there. Uh, 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 uh. And been given the kingdom, the keys to planet Earth. And that's the image of God. And that's the image of God. Y'all, we can't deal with fables, but in the beginning, which nobody knows because most high and revealed it, he just let you know. There were some things before Adam that gonna come up that you can't say, well, we'll find out when the Messiah get back. No. Messiah said, all mystery will be revealed before my second come. Go ahead, bro. Where you at? Verse 39. What you say? First Corinthians 15, verse 39. Uh -huh. All flesh is not the same flesh. What did that just say? All flesh is not the same flesh. So is that talking about our flesh, human beings flesh? Different one is my flesh different from uh, Brother Dre over there? Is Brother Ariel flesh different from Zebedee? No. It's the same flesh. Mm -hmm. Set for decay, rotting away as we speak, as you get older. It's marked for three score and ten. Seventy years. Seventy years. It's already a mark set on it. That's Psalm what, 90 and 10 and a few others in, in uh, Genesis 6. It dropped down from 120 and now it's about 70 years. You think when they meet you and they're saying the average span of life is 65 to 75 years, then guess where it's brought to with you in Israelite? With what you got to face. 20. 20. Maybe like that because of the disease. Because of the position we are put in, you are killing this flesh. Go ahead, bro. All flesh is not the same flesh. Right. But there is one kind of flesh of men. What did it say? One kind of flesh of men. One kind of flesh of men that descended from Adam. Now, we got a problem with the Neanderthal man, and you can see all the archaeology, or you're going to say all of it's fake and made up by the devil. But we know what they did it up. The Neanderthal man's DNA does not match yours. So that's a problem right there. That's why they're looking for the missing link. What joined together and separated that from Adam? Then we got to find Neanderthal on the earth. Well, those were the cavemen. Okay, so who were those cavemen? Those were the white people. So you mean to tell me we got white people on the earth before Genesis 25, 24, before Esau was born? We need that history. We need that history. Or you playing game. Hey, you just speculate. Go ahead, brother. Another flesh of beasts. Another flesh of what? Beasts. So, y'all, we see two flesh. Our flesh is different from a beast. Yeah. So when you see in this transgender and they're putting a human ear on the back of a swine, what are they mixing? God. Flesh. Flesh! Yeah. Also kills that we came from monkeys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They killed that whole monkey right. theory. So, y'all, we are seeing right here the most high, the hardest that he said thing. He said, animals have flesh, humans have flesh. If humans leave that first estate, it's called what? Bestiality. Mm -hmm. See, the angels left their estate and went from supernatural to get with these women to preternatural offspring. Go ahead, bro. Another of fish. Another of what? Fish. Right. And another of birds. Right. There are also celestial bodies. Now, see, we're talking about earth now. The bodies are saying fish is different from beef. You know, chicken is different from whatever else. So you're seeing there's different kinds of flesh. So you got to be extra careful when you're saying, I don't eat meat. Fish is flesh. Right? Go ahead, brother. There are also celestial bodies. See, celestial bodies. What is celestial? Mm. And we can get that because we're going to need to understand these. What is celestial? Spiritual bodies. Because these things are going to take place. These things visited this realm and people saw these things. Mm. Y'all, we are about to enter into that age because the same things that were taking place were produced or break us into that supernatural realm is wickedness. Practicing is what's called wickedness. Practicing. We're going to be sinners, y'all. We may be sinning tomorrow against our will. You know, you put in a system where you may have to work the Sabbath, but you're going to have to repent and turn to the Lord and say, have mercy on me. Fix it to where I can finally, you know, have that day off. But you got to make sure when you got that day off, you're keeping the Sabbath holy. 
You know, you can't take it all to want to play, uh, watch football. <laughs> you know, shout out to my So, y'all, we, we understand you are caught between a rock and a hard place, but the Most High say, I, I'll fix that for you. Just sacrifice. Make the atonement. Get the sackcloth and ashes. And I'll, I know you truly mean what you're saying. Go ahead, brother. Ce Celestial. Uh -huh. Of or pertaining to the, to the sky or the heavens. So, y'all, we see celestial bodies. You know, of the heavens. Stars, moon, suns. Go ahead, bro. Of, from, or suggestive of heaven. Mm. Spiritual. Y'all see that? Divine. That's it. So, celestial is a divine body. Is it only attributed to stars and moon? Or could it be attributed to some other thing? Some other type of flesh? Go ahead, read on that. All right, there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. What is terrestrial? But the glory of the celestial is one. Uh -huh. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. So it's telling you there's different. There's different bodies between the two. If Joseph is Christ's natural father, then he cannot have a celestial body. He could not, it would be impossible for him to do the supernatural thing that he was doing on a consistent basis. Mm. And to be able to give out that power to his disciples and allow them to rise to preternatural. Mm. To rest here. Of or pertaining to the earth or its inhabitants, uh -huh. having a worldly, mundane character or quality. Of pertaining to or composed of land as distant from water or air. So we terrestrial, y'all. Right? So there's, a, there's a divine body and a uh, with earthly body. Right. So y'all, and we're going to understand that nothing says that these two can't mix celestial and terrestrial, but if one mix with unrighteousness, what are you going to get but mutation? Right, exactly. If you and your daddy practice incest, what do you think the offspring going to be? He's going to have some mutated genes. Curse. Because the blood is already tainted. Sin runs in the blood. No matter what you do when you go to the doctor, they draw what to determine what's wrong with you. Blood. They draw blood. We want to get down to what's running inside the marrow of your bone, what's causing the problem. Your analysis ain't going to get it. Go ahead, brother. Verse 41. First Corinthians 15, verse 41. There is one glory of the sun, right? Another of the moon. See, so they even work it off a different glory, even though they're in the celestial realm. Everything happens its own business. But they'll work hand in hand. Go ahead, brother. And another glory of the star. Another glory of what? The star. Okay. For one star differeth from another star in glory. So y'all, we're seeing that all stars ain't the same. Some stars are used to track. A star was used to track what Christ was born. The wise men followed that one all the way to the point. It's going to stop right here. This is where it's going to be at. We followed his star. This is where he's at. All we got to do is ask him questions. Y'all heard about a new birth round there? Go ahead, bro. Verse 22. What it says? So also is the resurrection of the dead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. Look, this word comes up in the Apocrypha. In the Old Testament, New Testament, resurrection, which means you shall rise in the same body that you came out of your mother's womb in. Reincarnation said you can come back in a different flesh. Go ahead, brother. So also is the resurrection of the dead. Uh -huh. It is sown in corruption. What is it sown in? It is sown or planted in corruption. See, so we understand what David said in Psalm 51 in I was shaping in iniquity. I wasn't born in iniquity. My shape, my chemical makeup, because my father and my mother were under the, the, the curse of death. Their flesh was departed. So I'm under that same realm. Not saying that he was born in sin because sin is transgression of the law. 
What took place with that baby that a baby can see in the womb? Biting on the umbilical cord? Get out of here, girl. Kicking like a Pele on a belly. Look, he kicking. What sin can he could have committed in the, in the womb? So you cannot be born in sin because that leads you to a wide open for me to be born a murderer. Look, man, I was born with this trigger. <laughs> Ain't it all law breaking? It, it has to be law breaking because there's a law say don't do it. If you let that be born in sin, born in sin, then you have to allow me to be born as a murderer. Born as this. Born as that. Go ahead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. Right. It is sown in corruption. Uh -huh. It is raised in incorruption. See, it has to go back to where it was first raised from. When Adam was raised up and they took him in the garden, it was in corruption. No stink of sin on him nor his ribs. No stink. We have to be raised back into that realm. You have to be. It has to. The word of the Lord can't go void. Go ahead, bro. So we're going back to the beginning when we use it more. It, it always keeps talking about it. every word we look in all the scriptures, the Zacharias, the Isaiah. It looks like the Garden of Eden. It has become the Garden of Eden. We got to come back to pure righteousness on planet Earth and children being born in pure righteousness. Mm. Right now, the best we have with our children, they don't come under the law until. A woman who comes into her flower and a young man is able to admit seed. There ain't a, a verse or chapter in here that talks about an age number. Ain't no number of age of accountability. Twelve, yeah, those were the general ranges that men or women came into their flower with 13 for a boy, but that could be all Edomite talk. Judaism. But the script say when a woman reaches her flower, there are laws she has to know how to cleanse herself. You have to start teaching her that. If something happens to you, then she has the, the road manual on what to do, or she's unclean till evening. And when she starts practicing unclean till evening, then it turns into wickedness. And when it turns into wickedness, then you will visit, it used to be grand, and they'll go. That cleanse. <laughs> And a man, when he's admitting seed, he can produce a child. And the Most High gives signs. All of you women who've been through your flower, you know the signs of the pains and the hate. And you know what I mean? You know when your voice was cracked when you was reaching that age. That's letting you know you were getting ready to come into what we call puberty or the age of accountability. Accountable for making sure that the they don't end with you being unclean. And if you are unclean, you have to know the law to make you clean until the next day. And that means that stuff can't get on nothing. No clothes, no nothing. You must wash it. So y'all, I'm trying to keep it as clean as I can for the shorties. But go ahead, brother. Verse, verse 43, what does it say? It is sown in dishonor. What is it sown in? Dishonor, right? It is raised in glory. See, y'all, so we're sown and we're working this thing, y'all. We understand. That's why the script says, if you trust in yourself that you are righteous, how dishonor going to trust in itself that it's right? How you going to holler you saved right now? What you do, peep into the book of life, you already saw your new name. There it is right there. On box shape. I'm in the book of life already. Where you seen that at? How you trust in yourself that you write? I used to drink. I used to smoke. I saw what? What do you say from liver damage? Lung cancer? What are you saying from the lake of fire? That's the question I need to know. That's what's concerning me. You crazy. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Verse 40, verse 43. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. What kind of body? Natural body. See, y'all, this body is of the earth elements. That first son of man, Adam, son of God, I should say. Son of man, how it's pronounced in certain terms, but when you read the lineage, Luke 3 and all the way, Matthew 1, it goes back to Jacob begot such and such and Adam, and, and it goes all the way back, and, and, and Adam begot Seth, and, 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 
And it gets back to Adam, who was the son of God. Because Adam didn't have an umbilical cord, nor was he birthed from a mother. So we, if you believe that, and you believe the Most High laid Adam on an operating table and opened him up and took a rib out and fashioned his woman, but the virgin birth, that's crazy. <laughs> You started off believing crazy at the beginning of the book, didn't you? Right? Go ahead, bro. It is sown a natural body. Right. It is raised a spiritual body. Uh -huh. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So, y'all, we got to get clear on these bodies. A natural body is what we are in now. When the spirit reigns in there, we will do pre to natural things. But it ain't going to stop this body or this flesh from going the way of corruption. So when, it, when it's raised, that's supernatural. That's right. And see, Christ never saw corruption. In the grave for three days, I don't care what study you Google, rigor mortis is full set in what? 72 hours. You fool like this. They almost had to crack, 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 crack. All the things you would never fit in the coffin when rigor mortis set in. And to prove that, that's why Lazarus stayed in the grave four days. So that he would not be looked at as the Messiah. The script say three and a half days, right? Lazarus was in the grave four days. The three and a half days man called the four day man out the grave. And he stretched, the loin cloths fell off. And he was sitting at the table eating. When the Pharisees looking through the window. <laughs> they were trying to put him back to death. Put him back to death. But they couldn't kill him because he was in supernatural mode at that point. But we're going to see what Christ ate meat at the same time. See, just because it's saying a spiritual body, people have the mindset that we're talking about some ghosts cast for the ghosts or something. But it wasn't no ghost. Angels manifested, they look just like you. Men. Men. Go ahead, brother. Verse, verse 40, verse 47. Uh, 45. Uh, verse 45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. So right here, there's going to be some problems if there was any other people on this earth. Mm -hmm. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And killed. If you say Adam was a tribe of people, then let's get that information out there. Mm. That's all we ask if we take reproof and correction. But if it ain't there, we can't go off of what ifs. I think on this oh, or, or, or it could have been. Oh, it could have been. Maybe. Philosophy? No, we can't go off of feel philosophy. F E E L philosophy. <laughs> we don't care about how you feel. Wear that in the script. Go ahead, bro. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul, right? The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So a quickening spirit means to transform from one flesh to another in a blink of an eye. We know that happened to Enoch, and it happened to Elijah. It happened on the Mount of Transfiguration in Matthew 17, chapter. 17 chapter that's right. In a, quick, in a quick second, you are transformed. And that will happen, Isaiah 4, and as we read in this 1 Corinthians 15, 51, those that will remain alive through all the drama that come into this earth will be quickening just like that to reproduce. All those that died before will be resurrected and be like the angels, brothers and sisters. But there's going to be left a group here that going to repopulate for 1,000 years in righteousness. Not going out. What you mean you pregnant? <laughs> Dang, didn't you say you was on something? Well, you said you were only going to be a portion. Dang. Dang. If those questions come up, you are out of bounds with marriage. Because even if a child comes and you marry, it shouldn't be those. You can't say this and that. I thought you was protected. No. That only happens when you dilly dally. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Verse, verse 46. What it say? How be it? Mm -hmm. 
that was not first which is spiritual. Oh, so if we got a question if we just read what was spiritual, how be it that which was first was not spiritual? Adam was not supernatural. If he was, he never would have died. He, he never would have had a grave marker on earth. Satan don't have a grave marker on earth. Nowhere can you go and show where Satan's grave marker is. And he is right there. Right there to death. <laughs> he did, y'all. Nowhere is that a mark. Go ahead, brother. But that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. Uh -huh. The first man is the earth. Uh -huh. Earth. The second man is the Lord from heaven. From what? Heaven. John 3 13, he said, Look, I came from up there. I'm coming back down. No man has ascended to the Father. Not even the angels. Because Satan was in the spiritual realm and said, I need to get up there. I need to take that right hand of the Father. Which Satan was a high priest. In whatever part of planet Earth he was controlling before he failed. He was a high priest. When you read Ezekiel 1.27, y'all read what was on his breastplate just like Aaron's. Sapphires and this and that and shown and he he was all he was the head he walked in the stones of fire this was a high priest Satan was but he wanted more than that just like Nick rolls around here want more want to be the Holy Spirit want to be King David you know you ask one question wait a minute man tell me something who's Bathsheba like boy this look like the earth I know you remember. <laughs> they couldn't barely remember yesterday. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 28. As is the earth, such are they that are earth. And as is the heaven, such are they also that are heaven. And as we have borne the image of the earth. What does it say? As we have done what? Born the image of the earth. So we are sons of Adam. Born with the image of the earth. Let's read. We shall also bear the image of the heaven. We should do what? We shall also bear the image of the heaven. So that means we will be transformed into a spiritual body. Spiritual body. With power. With power. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into some of the Galatians and you will understand what it says. We shall be called the sons of God. We shall be called. So it's future tense if we practice the way we're supposed to. Then we will be called sons of God like Adam was because when we transform to the supernatural, we'll be like Christ. It said we will be like him. So we ain't even going back to Adam. There's a group set to be back like Adam, pre the natural. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Verse 50, what it say? Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. See, flesh and blood. Y'all, this is the key. The blood that runs through our veins got stank on it. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you do to twins. You can drink all the apple cider vinegar you want. <laughs> but it ain't going to change the stank of that blood. Because it's got death in it. Death is flowing through. Now you can slow that death down with righteousness and continue to be righteous, or you look just like the book of Eli is a perfect example. Mm. Walking for 40 years, reading that scripture day in and day out, but riding on the spirit. But eventually, all of those shots that he was shot with, and that drama he was taking, the body finally got weak. But he was shot 20 times, and he was still walking on the road. Mm. That's the power of the spirit, but the flesh is wearing out. All of the Great men, the flesh wore them out. Christ never wore out. He was put down by the Romans, but it was the Father's choice and his agreeance to that to be put down. Go ahead, bro. Verse 51, what it say? Behold, I show you a mystery. What it going to show us? A mystery. What is a mystery, y'all? Some of y'all, come on, Agatha, Agatha, what's her name? Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie. Yeah. What is a mystery? <laughs> he said he's going to show us the mystery. He didn't say, I'm going to keep it from you. He ain't talking about like the, the uh, Masons or all these other secret groups that say, I'm not going to show you the mystery. Pledge your soul first. Most I say, I'm going to show you a mystery. 
He showed us all mystery of supernatural things, y'all. Something revealed from the supernatural. Mm -hmm. Mysteries. Look, when you it, because if you don't understand that, then Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 or 12, when he says, even though I know speak with the tongues of an angel, and if I have not charity. Have not charity. And if I understand all mysteries, I am nothing without charity. Paul ain't saying that I can understand all mysteries. If he did, then he's the candidate for the Christ. He's saying, if I'm doing pure charity, mm. even if I understood all mysteries, if it wasn't for the glory of the Most High, it's all for naught. If you help your brother out poor, if it's for gain on the other side, that's not charity, y'all. If you do something for somebody looking to get something back, is that charity? No, no. no that, that's what Paul was talking about. He was just breaking it down from that perspective. Because a lot of people do things to be lifted up. You yeah, see. You see how I gave him the call the pump, we gave him that 20 That's how I get down, player. You know, see this thing with the Lord, you have to make sure the poor get something. <laughs> No, you're looking for some fame from me. Go ahead, brother. Verse 51. What does that mean? No, I show you a mystery. Right? We shall not all sleep. Uh-oh, what does that sleep mean? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we know what Christ talked about in John 11 chapter that Lazarus is what? He's sleep. sleeping. Go ahead. But we shall all be changed. Uh-huh. In a moment. In a what? In a moment. Uh-huh. In the twinkling of an eye. Uh-huh. At the last trump. So ain't no changing before the last trump. So how dare you say I'm saved right now? Mm -hmm. right. Has the last trump blew? Nope. Nope. How can you call yourself saved and off the lane still in business? Mm -hmm. hey, and if you want to know about the trumpets, they got a sign of the revelation. That's right. Revelation chapter 8, seven trumpets got to blow. You feel me? So they ain't already sounded, then you got to bring the history on when they were silent. Oh, we in the kingdom, all, all hell breaks loose. All the trumpets start blowing. So at the last trump, at the seventh trump, when that blow, right here it say, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, uh -huh. and the dead shall be raised in corrupt. So we see what the sleep was, death. It raised in corrupt. Go ahead. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible, your flesh, must put on incorruption. Uh -huh. And this mortal must put on immortality. Uh -huh. Verse 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying, that is written. See, the saying is written, so we got to have this saying first before you can holler you saying, and you got on on uh, incorruption. You got on, on on mortality. You got that on? So the saying has already been saying. Let's see what the saying is. Go ahead. Death is swallowed up in victory. What is swallowed up? Death is swallowed up in victory. Look, we got a problem in first. <clears throat> so we know this ain't happened yet, bro. Go ahead, brother. Oh, death, where is thy sting? See, death has a sting. When you hear about it, don't it sting, y'all? Mm -hmm. Man, oh, what day? Yeah, it hurt. No! Oh. Yes. No! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, brave. Where is thy fix? See, this goes back to Revelation 22 when death and what the grave is cast into where? The lake of fire. So hell is not the lake of fire. Hell is the grave. Hell is also a holding spot on the third level of heaven for the most wickedest people. It's called perdition. Now look, you're going from there straight to the lake of fire. Some, that's what Ecclesiastes tells us, don't it, in 12th chapter. Some raised to righteousness and some raised to corruption. Now you're going to go from here to there. Look, Sodom and Gomorrah ain't even been judged yet. It was annihilated. But it said, if, if you go to somebody's house and you have to shake the dust from your feet, it says it's going to be more tolerable for those in Sodom and Gomorrah than for them that turn you down in the day of what? Judgment. 
So Sodom and Gomorrah ain't even been judged yet the inhabitants. Just put down, burned up real quick, wake up from one burning to go to another. See, the Jehovah Witness teach when you die, you just disappear, you burn up and forget about it. Well, what am I working hard for then if that's it? I mean, what, what, am I, what do I have to face that's causing me some problems? 